Hello and welcome to another video. This time we're going to have a bit of fun with filters. We're going to start off by creating a drawing or sketch effect. Then we're going to take it a stage further by applying a painterly effect to it. Right, let's make a start. The first thing we're going to do is to duplicate the background layer twice. So I'm going to use Command J, Control J once and Command J, Control J again. Now to the top layer, we need to take the color out. We need to desaturate it. Now there's a very simple shortcut. Press and hold down Command or Control. So hold down Command or Control. Now hold down Shift on the keyboard and now press U and there it is. You have just desaturated the image. We're now going to duplicate this layer. So using Command J or Control J again. Now at this stage, it's probably gonna be a good idea to label these uh, layers. So I'm gonna double click on this one. I'm going to call this one BW1. Let's click on this layer. We're going to call this one BW, guess what? Yes, 2. We're going to click on this one, and we're going to call this one, when I double click on it, uh, Paints Effect. Right, so now we know what we're going to do with these layers. Click back on layer 1. This is now the live layer. Now to this layer, we need to make it into a negative looking image. Now this is very simple. All you need to do is press and hold down command or control. So hold down command or control. Now press I on the keyboard. We have inverted it, which gives us this negative look. Next, coming up to normal for the blend mode, we're going to change it to color dodge. We've now got a white piece of paper where we can apply our sketch effect. And to give us the sketch effect, we're going to head up to Filter, we're going to come down to Other, we're going to come across to uh, Minimum. Right, Minimum, let's just take this up for a moment. Let's zoom in as well. I'm going to press Command or Control, now I'm going to press the spacebar. So that's Command or Control, spacebar, into this area here, now just the spacebar to move myself into this position. Now for the radius, we need to drop this right the way down. So clicking on it, moving it to the left-hand side, we're going to take it down into this area here, starting to look a little bit better, taking it even further, coming into single figures, looking better still. Now when you get right the way down, it can get a little bit tricky with the slider. So bring your cursor over the word radius. You've got that hand with a finger and two arrows going through it. Click on it, just move it to the left, and you can see that's looking better like that. We've now got four. You'll also notice it's highlighted. What you can now do is type in a number. For example, if I type in one, that's how it's going to look on one. Swiping across again, highlighted. Let's put in two. That looks pretty good like that. Let's swipe across again. Three. No, I think two is the one we're going to use. So swiping across, putting in two. Yes, we'll click OK to that. Now, if you want to use this for a sketch effect, just let me zoom out to fit on screen using Command-0, Control-0. You can't use it at the moment. Let me switch this off to show you the reason why. That is how it looks. Let's switch these back on. So if you want it for a sketch effect, we're now going to merge black and white 1 down with black and white 2. Again, very simple shortcut, Command or Control. So press, hold down, Command or Control. Now press the letter E. You have merged it down. You have now got a sketch effect, and you might want to leave it like this. But we're going to take it a stage further. So I'm going to use Command Z or Control Z to undo what I just did. Because when I got to this stage, I switched black and white to off. And I saw this, and I thought, wow. That actually looks pretty good. Let me zoom in and show you a bit more. So I'm going to use Command Spacebar or Control Spacebar into this area. There looks good. And you can see the colors. I thought, yeah, perhaps we could do something with this. So clicking on our Paint Effects layer, we're now going to head up to Filter. We're going to come down to Filter Gallery. And when Filter Gallery opens, I've got texture there. Just let me delete that for the moment. We're going to head straight to guess where? Yes, Cutout. With the Cutout, Bring your cursor out, right click, then get a flyout menu. We're going to go to, let's go to 66% and just click in moving this into position. Now the settings I've got here, we've got the number of levels as 8. I've got the edge simplicity as 5, edge fidelity as 1. You can experiment taking them up, but I've just got a little bit too much detail around here. So I'm dropping that back down to 1. Edge Simplicity on 5, you might want to take that up, see how it looks with your image. Yeah, 6 there looks pretty good. Might want to use that, dropping it back down to 5, let's go to 4. 
No, a four I'm not so keen on. So coming back up, I think it's either going to be five or perhaps uh, six. Six, we're getting a little bit of yeah graphic look there with our diamond shapes and our rectangles. So I'm going to drop this back down to five. That looks better. Right, next, just saw that texture. Give me an idea. Coming down, we're going to click on this little icon. This is now going to duplicate cutout, heading down to texture. We're going to go to sandstone, number of levels, uh, full. Right click, this time go to 100% so you can see exactly how that texture is going to look. I'm going to leave the scaling where it is. Relief, a bit too much. I'm going to drop this right the way down. So taking it down to two, seeing how that's looking there. Perhaps even taking it right the way down to one. Yeah, I just want a little bit of texture, particularly in the plane areas. We're now going to click on OK. That's going to apply it. And there it is. We've now gone from this to this, starting to look pretty good. Love what it's doing for the background, but there's a few changes we need to make. We're going to click back on black and white too. We're going to switch it on so it is now visible. Coming up to the opacity slider, we're going to drop the opacity down. As we start to drop it down, this is where we're now combining our black and white sketch effect with the underlying layer, which is our paint effect. In fact, I'm going to right click. Let's go to actual pixels. I've got the hand tool selected, which is why I'm getting this uh, fly out. Any other tool, just press H on the keyboard. We'll give you the hand tool. So let's click down here, taking our opacity down further into this sort of area. What have we got? 60. Yeah, 61%, something like that. That looks good. Yes, like what this is doing to the image. Right, a few changes coming down to this area here. If I just switch off the paint effect, you can see there's just a little bit more detail in the underlying layer. So let's click on paint effect. I'm going to click on the mask. Coming over to the toolbox, we're going to pick up the paintbrush. Black is the foreground color. Checking on the opacity, yeah, 50%. I'm going to take this up to 100%. Size of the brush, just a little bit bigger, 500 pixels. Left hand square bracket will make my brush smaller. Soft edge brush, folding this out of the way. I'm just going to paint just to remove just a little bit of the effects with this, just over his shoes there to bring that back, perhaps a little bit over the basket. And just pressing the space bar with the hand tool. Perhaps a little bit over that. Got a feeling that was a black bag, if I remember rightly. Coming up here, looks like he's just been out walking the dog. Well, could be. Coming over this region here. And the hat as well. I'm not so keen on that. Dropping the size of the brush down. When I say not so keen on it, the yellow on that hat. So just removing this area here. So we can just go back to the original. If you want to come over the face as well, just over the eyes. There, that looks good. Right, I think this could do with just a little bit more contrast. So let's click on the top layer of the layer stack. We're going to come up to the adjustment layer and we're going to use levels. Now when levels opens, no wonder it's looking a bit flat. You can see there's a whole load of uh, darker black pixels missing. Clicking on this slider, moving it across. That's starting to look much better. That will do nicely. Coming to the center slider. Moving this to the right hand side, just giving it a little bit more. Right, we're going to close this down now by clicking on that cross. Pressing the space bar for the hand tool, just looking around the image. I think that looks pretty good as it is. Something else I'd like to do, we're going to go back to fit on screen. So I'm going to use Command 0, Control 0 to do that. We're going to put in a new layer because I don't want the image to come right to the edge. I've already got the paintbrush selected. So I'm going to press X on the keyboard. So I've now got white brush size, just a bit small right hand square bracket this time to take it up in size, something like this. And I'm going to take it over the edge, clicking down, just going to come quickly around like this, round the bottom part and then up over the top here. And just a little bit over that yellow like that. Just perhaps a little bit over there. Just to give it's a, like a little bit of a vignette. Once again, it's just to enhance that sort of paint to the effect as well. In other words, making it look like it's been painted in the center. You haven't brought it out to the side yet. If I use command one, control one to go to 100%. Let's take a look around pressing the space bar. It gives me the hand tool. 
and you can see the way it's fading out here that looks pretty good like that I like what this is doing to the image and just coming around on the bottom perhaps just a little bit more on the bottom taking it down the left hand square bracket to make it just a bit smaller just coming over the edge there and there it is there is our puppeteer now with a painterly effect perhaps just a little bit on the edge here i'm going to come down reducing down the opacity let's take it down to about uh, what have we got we've got 45 percent just coming over there that yellow is just a little bit bright for me brilliant stuff that will do nicely command zero control zero to go to fit on screen well it would have been better had i removed that first okay now putting it to fit on screen Go on, give it a try. Everything with this is completely adjustable. You can come to any of these layers, black and white two, paint effects, reduce the opacity, increase it, see what works for your images. Most of all, have some fun. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Give it the thumbs up if you have. Don't forget to subscribe, plenty more videos to come. But until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.